Hello and welcome to another session of our Java tutorials. In this session, we are going to create a Java program to print a diamond pattern. A diamond pattern is actually just a combination of the upper full triangle and inverted triangle. And since we already covered the first two tutorials, so this is the first one we covered earlier and then this is the other one we already covered, the inverted one. So all we will do is just combine both of them and then I will reattach a video explaining what we did in this full triangle and then what we did in this inverted triangle. So or we can copy the first one and we will copy it from here and just paste uh, in this uh, method for the diamond class. And then we can run it and see if it's working. And then we can go back to the inverted triangle and copy it as well. So we can copy it from here. And then paste it in the diamond section as well. So what we can do now is to separate this so that you can see where the two pieces of code separate. So this is the first one for the full triangle. And then this is the second one for the inverted triangle and then we can run this and see this one is too big so I will have to reduce the size since you know the variable n is used to determine the number of rows we can change this to 5 so that the diamond can be smaller and as you can see we now have our diamond so guys I will reattach the videos after this video to explain how we arrived at this code and also this one this session we're going to create a pro java program to print a full triangle pattern let us begin by creating a variable that will determine the size of our triangle and we can say uh, int and give it a name we can call it n and we can initialize it with six or any number for that matter and then next we will use the outer for loop and inside the out of for loop there will be two inner for loops so you can start with the outer for loop here and say for and then int i the var variable is i equals to zero and as long as i is less than this number here which is n then increment i by one and then we open up our code block with these curly braces and we print out uh, the space so this one will be responsible for taking us to the next line that's why we use the print line method and we don't uh, pass any value inside so the next thing we do now is to create our first for loop which is the inner for loop and we say for and we will use now the the variable we change the name from i we can call we can use the j variable and say int j equals to zero and then semicolon and then as long as j is less than this value which is six we we'll say n minus minus and then i so we want it to decrement on every row until we reach the last iteration so minus i minus one and then j plus plus and then we can open up this code block here and then we sys out and say sys out sys out and then we just print we use the print method here we don't use print ln and put an empty space and this one will be responsible for printing the space before the star and this number of spaces will keep decreasing as the stars keep increasing and then the next one now is to print is to use another for loop which we can put it here and we say for and then end this one will be responsible for printing the stars and you can say end call it j equals to zero and then as long as j is less than two multiplied by i then 
j plus plus so we want to increment j by one and then we can seize out this one again and say seize out and print out uh, the star and we can just do like this and print out the star and I will explain this in a minute but let's try and see if it's working so this one is a print method as well it's not a print element it's a print method but as you can see we have our star so now let's go over the logic and understand what's happening here so for this one we need another star actually on top of this one so to achieve that we can change this one to less or equal to and run it again so our outer loop is responsible for the rows which is this one this print element method it will take us from first row second row third row until the last row well this one is responsible for the spaces before the star we can demonstrate that by let's print s and run it and as you can see on the first iteration this number of uh, spaces are one two three a five and one star and then the next one the number of spaces reduce and keep reducing until the last row when there is no space at all and then the number of stars keep increasing until the last row and we can just remove this because we don't need it and we can print it again and like i told you earlier this one controls the size of the triangle if you put 10 you will have 10 rows in this session we're going to create a program to print an inverted triangle let us begin by creating a variable that will determine the size of our triangle next let us use a nested for loop to implement our logic we can start here by creating our variable and we can say int in name of variable n equals to let's initialize it with seven and semicolon and then we can start our first for loop the outer one we can say four and then int and then we can name it i equals to and then say n minus two so the other loop goes from n minus 2 to 0 and it is used to control the number of rows so we can put a semicolon and then say i as long as i is greater or equal to 0 and then decrement i by 1 and then we can use this uh, curly braces to open this code block and say sys out and then this one will take us from one row to the other then the next thing we do now is to go for the next uh, inner loop this is our first inner loop of and we will have two of them so we can say four then let's uh, create another variable and call it j and say j equals to zero and then semicolon and then uh, this inner loop j goes from 0 to n minus i minus 1 so say j is less than n minus and then i minus 1 and then a semicolon another semicolon and then increment j by 1 and then open this code block again by this curly braces and say sys out and then this one will be responsible for the spaces so we put an empty space here and then now we go for our last for loop which we can write it down here and we say four and then int we call this j again we say j equals to zero and then a semicolon and then as long as j is less or equal to two multiplied by i and then another semicolon and then j plus plus then we open this code block with another uh, curly braces and sys out and this one we use to print out our star so we print our star here 
and then so the second inner loop is used to print the stars the number of stars decreases as i increases so guys we can try to run this and see if everything is working so this one actually should be a print method as well as this one as well should be a print method and we can run this and as you can see we have our star and then we can even put uh, another line so we can put it here and let's run it you can see now we have our loop so uh, the reason we did uh, we did this minus i minus one I will demonstrate that in a second so this one is for space let's put an s just to be able to see vis visually the demonstration let's run again and as you can see there is a space here that you cannot see it until you print something in the first a the first row we have one space the second one we have two the third one we have three and so on and so forth so as you can see the number of spaces keep increasing as the number of stars keep reducing so this i and one helps us to to fulfill those functions well this one the reason we subtracted two here is because we had another another pair of star two rows of stars here that were not aligning properly so if i can remove this you will be able to see that so let's run this as you can see we subtract two here in order to subtract these two lines so we say minus two then when you run it we just have this one lines so guys let's remove this s here because we don't need it anymore and run it again and see the results so guys this is an inverted triangle and if you combine it with the full triangle you will get a diamond